In this video, I'm going to share some tips for new F1s, really how to interact with your radiology department and get the most out of it. The key thing really is to know your patient. That means have examined your patient, spoken to them, read their case notes. When you come to the radiology department or you ring your department to talk about a radiology investigation, have their name, hospital number, date of birth ready so that we can find the patient on our system quickly. Understand why the test is being requested. If you're not sure, then ask the person who asked you to organise it. Explain the background to the patient, the past medical history, if relevant. The acute problem, the diagnosis that you wish to confirm or exclude. Really, it's about the quality of the information you write on the request form rather than the quantity. Look at any previous imaging and read the reports. So it may well be relevant to what is required next. Just before you submit the request, take a moment to check that it's the correct patient, the correct body part and the correct side. Because failing to do this can lead to radiation incidents. Sometimes I'm asked, should you request specific imaging or is it better just to ask a diagnostic question? If you're confident that you're asking for the correct test, then do so and give all of the information that I described previously. If you're unsure what the correct test is, then talk to the duty radiologist about what test is best. Most hospitals will have a named radiologist of the day or of the session who is the go-to person for that sort of advice. Always try to ask a diagnostic question. The request serves partly to justify the imaging, partly to prioritise that test, but also facilitates interpretation of the images by either a radiologist or a reporting radiographer. And a good report should answer a clinical question. So therefore, the request should always include a clinical question. What information should you include in your request? Well, a brief background history, any previous relevant surgery, particularly if you're requesting abdominal imaging, a description of the acute medical problem, and importantly, your provisional working diagnosis and any differential diagnosis. We also need to know about the patient's kidney function, particularly if the EGFR is less than 30. That may affect the type of test that we do. We need to know about any allergies, particularly related to iodine or iodinated contrast, and what type of allergic reaction the patient experienced. It's important that you tell us about pregnancy status in any women of childbearing age. It's also key that you inform us if the patient is on an anticoagulant and whether it is a DOAC or warfarin, and also whether the patient is on antiplatelet therapy. That may influence the urgency with which we undertake the scan. If you are planning or asking for us to undertake interventional radiology, we will often need to know the coagulation status of the patient. What kind of situations require urgent imaging? Well, there are many examples. You could, for example, divide cases into time critical. And that would include things like ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm, acute stroke, major trauma, suspected quarter equina compression. Those are conditions which require very rapid assessment and very rapid treatment to get a good outcome. You might also have a category for urgent outpatient scans. So, for example, suspected cancer diagnosis or evaluation of a recent stroke. The most important thing is that you explain why you perceive the level of urgency. We don't always know why you think it is an urgent scan. and We may therefore not recognise it and may not prioritise it. You, on the other hand, you don't always know the volume of patients waiting for tests in our department. And therefore, if we communicate well, we can get the correct urgency. What mistakes are made by referrers that slow the process down? And there are a number of things which I would say you should try to avoid. For example, saying to the radiologist, I haven't met this patient, but, or I was just asked to request this by the night team. Uh, so really, we want to know that you know your patient. And we want you to be able to answer specific questions about your patient that we may have in order to determine the appropriate imaging. Please try to avoid saying, 
order instead of request. Remember, when you request a radiology examination, you are requesting a specialist opinion from a radiologist as to making a diagnosis or excluding a diagnosis. You are not ordering anything. Try to avoid vague requests saying things like question mark pathology or pain query cause, or collapse query cause. When they're so vague, the chances of being able to produce a meaningful, useful report are much lower. Also, please tell us about any contraindications because there are many occasions where that is not done. And for example, a MRI is requested. When the patient arrives in the department, it's immediately apparent that they have a pacemaker. And so the MRI is contraindicated. So please try to remember those sorts of contraindications when you're requesting. We've been asked a specific question about imaging around suspected COVID patients in the current pandemic situation. Um, so really, all of the previous advice applies, but in addition, be prepared to answer specific questions about the likelihood of COVID-19 in your patients. For example, do they have a persistent dry cough? Is there a fever? Do they have anosmia? But also, please be ready to answer questions which might help us to establish a pretest probability and therefore make a better interpretation of, for example, a chest radiograph or a CT. For example, does the patient have an elevated CRP? Are they lymphopenic? Is the D-dimer raised? Do they have an elevated LDH, etc.? So please anticipate those questions during the pandemic. So really, a few other things, just general things to, uh, to think about. So if in doubt, please ask. Your radiology department is there to help you. We would much rather you asked us for our advice and then acted on it rather than did the, made the, requested the wrong examination. Please get to know the radiology department in your hospital. Radiology departments are all different, but it's important that you understand how your radiology department functions, including out of hours, for example. But really, communication is key in both directions. Be kind and best of luck.